What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, back with another Heroes of the Storm strategy showcase, and today we are taking a look at Dahaka. So Dahaka is the newest warrior to enter the Nexus. The Primal Zerg makes a, a very big impact in that he's kind of an untraditional warrior. Instead of being your, your front line, he's more of like a ganking bruiser, and he can move th through the map, um, through fog, and any bushes on a 40 second cooldown, and I talked in anywhere, so it makes him a great counter to stuff like Siege Abathur or heroes that are pushing alone. Uh, if you have strong gankers, he has good lockdown to help with that. But let's take a look at his abilities. So first up we have Drag. It's a very slow skill shot. We're talking like slower than pre-buff phase prism slow. But when you do hit an enemy with it, you can drag him for 1.75 seconds. Great for helping to secure kills. Or on the flip side, grabbing a hero and pulling them away from someone on your team that's trying to escape. Following up on that, we have Dark Swarm, which creates an AoE effect around your hero, allowing you to do damage to minions, double that damage to heroes, and most importantly, removing collision effects. Now this is a double-sided sword. You can pop Dark Swarm and run past a hero, and then when it falls off, they're automatically body blocked. But at the same time, if you are body blocking and you pop Dark Swarm, the other hero can also run straight through you because it removes collision. We have Burrow, allowing us to drop underground and entering a stasis. While we're burrowed, we can use our trait to heal and use Dark Swarm. Um, you know, I know in the Hero Showcase video, Blizzard did, they talked about using it to wait for your team. Two seconds is not enough time. Uh, in general, I'd save it to avoid high damaging seal shots. Our trait, of course, Essence Collection, giving us 10 Essence every time a hero dies, 2 for each minion, and we gather this and can pop it at any time by pressing D to receive a heal over time effect. And collecting Essence is really what's going to define the good the uh, the good Dahaka players excuse me, versus the not-so-good Dahaka players. We've been seeing a lot of Abathur lately. i got Abathur on the mind. But anyway, moving on to our heroics, we have two choices, Isolation and Adaptation. Isolation, the clearly superior choice, in my opinion. Um, silencing and slowing an enemy hero for three seconds, and on top of that, reducing their vision radius down to a very small window around them for six seconds. And this is fantastic against supports, um, assassins, tanks. I mean, even, you know, something like, like you'd think, oh, silence, I want to put that on Li Ming or Kale, but, you know, you hit a Thrall or a Illidan with it, and suddenly they can't see any targets, and it's very easy for them to just kind of run around, you know, completely lost. Um, adaptation, on the other hand, when we pop this, over the period of 5 seconds, we'll take damage, and then we can heal up 60% of that damage. But if you were to die while Adaptation is up, you don't enter a stasis state, you just die. And on top of that, it's kind of overshadowed by having a 50 trait um, essence ready to pop anyway. So we're going to change up to the Mechadahaka skin, and we'll go through our talents real fast. So at tier 1, enhanced agility for the movement speed. At 4, uh, one who collects or a hero stalker depending on the map. Heavy team fight maps like Black Hearts Bay, hero stalker of course. On stuff like Tomb of the Spider Queen, one who collects. Whoop. At 7, we're going to go Symbiosis to give us more uptime on Dark Swarm. At 10, Isolation. At 13, Whirling Dervish against heavy CC comps, otherwise ferocious stalker. At 16, Elongated Tongue for the drag range. And then at 20, against heavy melee comps, we're going to go Contagation, allowing us to hit Isolation and spread it to enemy heroes. Um, but in general, Apex Predator is going to be the premier choice, allowing us to do Brush Stalker every 10 seconds. And then on top of that, there's obvious synergy between that and Ferocious Stalker. So basically every 10 seconds, we can burrow to a new location and get a 60% movement speed boost. So real quick, before this match starts, I do want to touch on the daily heroes. I know I said we were going to be slowing down, and they will be returning, rest assured. Um, obviously, I'm getting kind of balls deep into Dark Souls 3 at the moment, and my channel is very Souls-oriented at being one of my all-time favorite franchises. But rest assured, there will be more daily heroes episodes. Um, we're probably only going to be doing one to two a week for a while, at least until I get through some of the Dark Souls content. But with all the updates that have come out between, you know, Illidan, Tychus, Kale, Gaz, a lot of heroes that I enjoy getting reworked, I definitely want to showcase some of that for you guys. But here we go. Already. We've been doing a couple matches, just kind of practicing around. No, not Trily, really. You tard. <laughs> um, we did switch up our comps slightly. Endel was running DPS. We're having him bring another warrior along, just because Dahaka doesn't really function all that well as the primary warrior. He's kind of like a ganking really bruiser. Har har har. Endel is so fun. funny. <laughs> I mean, in reality, though, aside from your, your heal over no, time, he which, no, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't really tank with him. He's great at helping to secure kills, but not so much. He's not like a Murden or Diablo or Joanna. You can't 
get into the thick of things and, and, and shut stuff gank down. Some yes, ganks and peels. He works very he well with another and warrior. Everyone and slaps everyone with his cock. He doesn't do that. Yeah. Well, I think he works best with another bruiser. You know, something like uh, Artanis, Sonya, even Diablo. I mean, Diablo, I think, is kind of probably one of the best tanks just because he has that tankiness that you need. But at the same time, like, he has the tankiness of, like, Muradin and Joanna. But he also brings the damage of, like, Artanis or Sonya. And so a good Diablo light of that information, scary. we're actually going to be bringing you a Diablo showcase today. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Isn't every cowboy video a showcase of whatever I'm playing? Hardy Heart Endel is so <laughs> funny. <laughs> I don't know. Do they often make showcases of twats? <laughs> oh! Oh, wow. Basic insult. Look out. Next right. I'll be hit with a mom joke. I'd say every one of my videos is a showcase of Endel's salt. Dude, there's been so many fucking Abathers. Like, I'm uh, so done. It, it's really been ruining the morale. It, it has definitely Just affected morale. so fucking over this game. <sighs> I was excited for the patch, and then everyone's playing Abather. He wasn't even changed, was he? Nope! <laughs> Just, he's just good. Nope! <laughs> nope, not at all. The outrage. Yet every game there's an avatar, and avatar's doing all top stats and beating hero damage of Li Ming's and Vala's and all this other shit. And the whole time he's sitting fucking in the middle of the base. Totally safe. Boom. 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 So in yeah. other uh, Blizzard-related news, did you hear they changed Tracer's uh, victory animation because fem Nazis were complaining it was sexist? I had no idea. It? What was the Tracer? Was she yeah. would, she would like kind of like she she would do this like 180 and like kind of blow out her gun and show off her butt, and people were like, "This is sexist." Why are they bitching about Tracer when Widowmaker exists? Why are they bitching about either of those when Bayonetta exists as a game? <laughs> and I love fucking game. Bayonetta, but still, what? But it's, have you seen Bayonetta? <laughs> like, every Bayonetta every is like Bayonetta is, is like the definition of a sex appeal character, right? <laughs> like Bayonetta, Lara Croft. This is Barbie. She's been the the fucking whatever for a long time. A feminist. This is He Man. <laughs> he Man. Like, I men don't men don't have artificial standards that. to live up to, guys. Don't worry about it. Yeah, that's... Barbie's yeah. been the subject of a lot of criticism because she projects unfair standards of women and blah, blah. This is He-Man! <laughs> He-Man! <laughs> yeah, this is He-Man. So, He-Man's he dick has muscles, even? Just like, <laughs> it's like... I don't know how to get these. Does this, does this work? Uh, so, real fast, <laughs> talent overview, or uh, analysis, I should say. At level 1, Dark Swarm, reducing two abilities by 25%. No. Just too lackluster. Uh, primal aggression at 100% damage just doesn't really feel good enough. Um, tissue regeneration unnecessary. Oh, I was about to hop on somebody. Tissue regeneration is unnecessary, especially considering essence collection. Whereas enhanced agility can be Sounds pretty so powerful. Get fucked, mechanical bitch. Oh god. Oh, I'm so. Oh, why? What? What? Oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh, why did you grenade him? I was about to dark swarm all over that booty. What the fuck just come to molasses all over me? Uh, well, yeah, they I, have I, double stealth. Just to let you all yeah, know. Zero tool thing. The only thing zero tool's good for these days. Whatever, dude. I will. I will shut down stealth so bad. Dahaka is like made to crap on stealth. Yeah. Good, because they got two of them. Where are, you, where are you dragging me? You don't have enough range to get me into your tower. Just stop it, other totally. Dahaka. Uh, might as well make, like, any slow over 30%, might as well just stun. Okay, Sharonda. Okay, Sharonda. Okay, <laughs> 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 Bitch, dude. Go on, is that real? This is yeah, actually it is real. Okay. I can come up I, in a couple of seconds until. <laughs> Yeah, literally fucking everyone is in this lane. 
I'm amazed that you guys actually have people on your in your fucking lane. It seems like there's usually four people in ours. Oh my god, he just blocked me with his fucking turret. That was so good. The angels smile on you. Yeah, that's the most annoying thing, that the Hawka tongue just go through anything. Yeah. Oh man, I'm just it's watching like for... You, when you, like, compare ATC to We gotta get down here. We need, a uh, Sylvanas, why is she not... Where is she coming? Sylvanas. No, baby. That's the real fucking Nova right next to me, Endel. <laughs> Not now. Like, wow, that person. Oh, no. Oh, God. Poor timing on the tongue. But we got her. All right, so I'm going to, if we're going to, we got to synergize this. When you, when you yank, I'll tongue. First, okay. you slam them onto me, and then I tongue the butt. I That's how we play this. Like that. You yank, I tongue the butt. That's our combo. Oh no, bro! Uh, Please no! Me. I'm a so dead. Oh my god, how am I alive? Come back to our towers and enjoy these. I expect that fucking thing to be longer. Stupid I can't tug. wait to get more of my super overpowered talent. All of you. I don't have any mana, bitch. One of the few times that actually having that extra damage. Actually, I don't even think that the 100% uh, boost on damage would really work here. Ooh. We only need three of these little dudes. Get him. Get him, man. I'll slam him. Grab his butt. <laughs> Something. What does Zeratul think he's doing? Oh my god. Guys are so bad. I got me something. The Haka. These guys are just. just sick. All right. So as for our tier four, uh, basic attacks reduce drag. Honestly, because of how short of a duration drag lasts, I don't feel that's worth it. Um, you really just want to use it to secure a kill, and having it up more frequently just it doesn't seem. To, to really play out like you want because you have to really wait for a good situation. Um, constriction, not a bad choice. An extra half second on it can definitely help to uh, secure that kill. Oh, you can see just how slow it is trying to hit that. Um, symbiosis, on the other hand, this is just a straight up big, big upgrade. Um, you know, it's going to give you more uptime on that ability, which is always going to be good. It's here. No, oh, I did not essence collect. I should have. And our whole team is chasing. You guys better kill this asshole. Nope. Nope. They're not. That should back out. I, I mean, out. I stunned oh. as soon as it was off cooldown. Essence Devourer is just dumb. Don't bother with it. Symbiosis, though, it is going to be a solid solid upgrade choice. Um, you know, just straight damage on Dark Swarm, giving you, you know, more anti collision, all that goodness. They're trying to merc. Can we prevent this, Endel? What do you think? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. If I had people here. I'm on my way, but I'm far that's away. Real. That's a real I know that's real. That is shit. Oh, please. Please! Hold the line! Hold the line! The Haka! <laughs> Final countdown! Ba -da -ba -ba. Ba -da -ba -ba. Super effective. Literally, literally <laughs> having Hero Stalker just won that. Adaptation Having Hero <laughs> Stalker is the like, dude, because I popped a full heal going into that, and then I got enough for another full heal from having Hero Stalker there. Oh wow! There. Oh my God! It's so freaking slow. More than a level away on their fucking ult. Ah. Uh. My tongue grab is so slow, I hate it. I hate how slow the tongue grab is. I said that back at the start, but like, it, it's it's fucking dumb how long it takes for that tongue to go off. I don't understand why Blizzard just keeps making like this. like this want to be dope. I can guarantee that'll get changed. There's no way they'll keep the, uh, the no, like, weird animation change on tongue. They'll definitely the update that. Not, they won't. 
No, they will. I mean, they changed our Tannises, and our Tannis—that was the big thing. It was so the slow. I grabbed the Diablo. Got it for words. I can see the real Nova. Yep. Yeah. She's running. I, I can visibly see you. You are not hidden. Please stop. I'm gonna go get Man. I'll burrow back in. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go bottom and continue our soak. So as I mentioned earlier, isolation, clearly the superior choice here. Just, adaptation is just not worth it. It's just all that it comes down to. I don't give a shit about the, oh my god, that no ball is all over here. <laughs> so while we got some time in lane, let's look at 13. Now 13 is one of the, the main talent tiers where you got a lot of good choices here. Swift Pursuit isn't a bad talent by any means, being like, you know, boom, 20% speed. Time to go. And one second, two second, boom, 20% speed. 20% speed. On maps that you have heavy fog, you can really see the benefit of that. Um, a Ferocious Stalker, the big combination with that is when you get to 20 and you have Apex Predator. And you, it's, it's really nice seeing that combination there. Um, Whirling Dervish, obviously against heavy CC teams because of the great uptime we have on Dark Swarm because of Symbiosis. That's going to really come in great. Um, here, not going to really be needed. I mean, we have the Tronde stun, Gaz's bombs, but those aren't going to really hit me. Um, some slow by Nova and Zera. Also, I wouldn't really consider that a problem. So we're going to probably go for uh, for Ferocious Stalker here. Allowing us. See, the other great thing about Ferocious Stalker is if you know where there's something, you know, you go in the brush, and that's going to give you the extra speed you need to really catch up and kill that target immediately. Uh, that was I, I stasised myself, and then Zara yeah. jumped out <laughs> to stasis me. I'm like, that's actually just fine. Oops. What? Oh. It's so short. Hawkeye, yeah. I am Diablo. I am Ultimus Man. I'm Di Diablo. <laughs> I am the actual fucking devil. Yes, come grab me. So I can do this to you. Fuck out. You're out tanked. Oh god. Your ulti, um, as you saw him use right there, isolation is also kind of ridiculously slow for some unknown reason. Um, probably on par with drag. I honestly, I fully expect both drag and isolation to get an animation increase, probably by like at least half a second, probably a second, just because right now they're just too damn slow. I'm gonna come in behind this dude though. You guys want to kill this Gazlord? I have no mana. I don't have much mana. But there's the Hawk yeah. is right here. We want to kill him? Blizzard, do you insist on making every character with some kind of a movement ability announce where they're going to go before they're there? Fucking fucktards. Dear enemies, I am approaching. Sincerely, friendly neighborhood to Haka. So right there, big thing was holding off on uh, using my swarm again. Just because, as you saw there, it's going to allow me to get him. Oh! Gotta nope, go. didn't even reach him. Didn't even reach him. The range. Gotta go. It's time to go, baby. It's time to go. Now. <laughs> Bad right. I have no mana. Like how we just go here, and then it's like, okay. Uh, they're gone. Oh, wait, look what we found. Uh, look what we found. Oh, uh, no. We just got wrecked, Get out of here. I don't have enough mana to do it literally anything. <laughs> I'm still alive. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Oh, here comes Nova. I know the Serrano? I don't know the Serrano. Yeah, the Serrano it's has me. Said so I'm much the Serrano. Not you. <laughs> Enemy Serrano. Alright, well let's finish off this thing. Don't let Gazlord take this. He's, he's bad. Fucking enemy this Serrano. is ours. You fucked my wife? You fucked my wife? <laughs> <laughs> Oh wait, that's right, great. You have not witnessed the story. It does Is nothing. it shiny and chrome? I'm going full heal, I'll be right back. I'll burrow in in a second. Yep. 
That's the best thing about the Hawk, honestly. Oh, I'm low. You're back. Yeah. Oh, I got her! Oh, nice. And they do oh. this? They do this? Combination of plays. I had that stun before you did that. <laughs> Hello. Oh. He was about to get touched with the bad touch. He's super effective. As it's always been. Okay. Oh my god. He got bad touch there. <laughs> Don't think it. Pablo Sita. Diablo kinda is the John Cena of HOTUS. Oh yeah, definitely. Absolutely. Uh, Kyle? I'm being ganked by the stealthies? I'm gonna get in here. I'm gonna part in here. Party in here, baby. Oh god, the stunnies. I think we overstayed our welcome. Bye. Little. Everyone's dead. Whatever. I'm alive again. I'm Diablo. Devil don't give a fuck. Sylvanas is like, hey, 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 hey. Why? Oh, why is everyone playing Sylvanas never with the team? I'm a special one slide in the split <laughs> Or, 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 you can lock down all the crazy structures doing a bunch of damage. Looking at our level 16 talents, uh, <laughs> paralyzing enzymes, I mean, 50% slow for two seconds is pretty significant. That being said, you should really be able to capitalize on the drag to get the kill as soon as you hit it. So in that regard, I feel elongated tongue is going to be a better choice helping to hit the drag. Uh, rapid regeneration kind of falls back into the category of why is this talent a thing? We don't really need it. Um, I'm going to jump on Toronto right here. Let's get Toronto. Oh... Fuck! That was from across the room. Oh. What? What up, boy? That's a tank. Fuck that! Fuck that! Bye, cowboy. You're dead. I'll help you. No, he's not. I helped him too. I press both of the. There we go. Zero tool is blind and can't see anything. Silence is the biggest. Not blind. The blind is. It did adaptation. It's Why? Not, it's not a blind. His auto attack still hits. See, this is why. This is why you don't do that. Now you're over here. You guys see how effective adaptation was right there? It didn't do shit. It got him killed. <laughs> oh, to pop this. Oh, I'm at full health. Oh wait, here I go being dragged away again. We gotta. There's a bunch of bullshit we gotta handle. These these things. Someone take those out. Oh. Uh. I'll handle the top ones. Diablo leading hero damage by a mile. Like I'm, I'm not that far off of you. Tychus is ahead of me. By a mile. <laughs> I wanna say a mile. Don't get too far ahead of yourself. I'm almost tempted to take the the splash just because they keep grouping up in really dumb ways. Oh my god, when, when the enemy team is like, full fucking melee, Look what I found. Nova, come here! Nova, come here! Oh, the silence shut down. These turrets Why? really need to open. fuck off. Hold it in place. It's really not that hard. Dude, I really like the, the essence off heroes, because like someone dies, and that's 25. That is huge. Like The minion one can be really good, but getting 25 essence, that's half your heal every time a hero dies. That's nuts. That's really good. It might be better overall, honestly. Um, hero Stalker yeah, might just be the I better choice, that. especially as you move towards the end game. so bad, she's good. <laughs> like you can get a lot from minions, though, but 
Yeah, you can. Right, I think getting an instant 25 off heroes is pretty broken. Uh, we are going to go Apex Predator, just giving me unrivaled mobility. I gotta give this guy's credit for shutting down on tons of tongues via we're turrets. That's to play shitty gas low. No, no tongue for you. So bad. Still a bad hero. Is this gonna be it? Is this the GG? I think this be the GG. Could it be? Here you go, baby. I'll give you heals. Someone scared and confused. Where are you going? Come back here, Gazlo. Oh my god, their Dahaka just got oh, their gas killed. Rip it, rip it. He just dragged me into the gas while I had Dark Swarm up. That is so oh, hilarious. I, I didn't know Dark Swarm. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was great. Oh lord, no. That last thing we saw, that actually raises a, uh, a really good point that I haven't made with Dahaka. Don't just tongue grab somebody and drag them because you can like if it's gonna risk getting a teammate killed don't drag someone towards your teammates <laughs> do think about who you're dragging um, so either way just to run through the talents again uh, enhanced agility that movement speed is huge for us giving us easy body blocks through dark swarm and helping since we don't have a mount uh, hero stalker obviously you guys got to see that in action especially at the team fight at the end there massive amount of essence for healing um, symbiosis, obviously, for the huge DPS boost. Almost always have Dark Swarm up with that. Isolation, because it's OP. Ferocious Stalker, <clears throat> in conjunction with Apex Predator, allowing us to get 60% movement speed every time we brush stalk. And then Elongated Tongue to hit our stuns. So, not too bad. 79,000 damage tanked, 41,000 hero damage done. All in all, a solid game. And that is how you play Dahaka.